the unit I'm going to show you today is this side shifter palletizer. This one has an extra function. It has a battery hydraulic lift column. So this means that this gripping head, which picks up the drum, the top lip, goes up and down. And it's powered up and gravity return. We can maneuver this left and right across the beams. So if we release the lock, we can slide it left or right and then we can lock it in position. Now this unit is suitable for picking up lots of different types of drums from 50 litre to 205 litre, that's steels or plastics. Today we're just going to show you on these steel 205s mounted on the pallet, but it wouldn't matter whether there's four drums on the pallet or three or two because this unit straddles the pallet and goes straight over. So what we've done is we mounted these at the back of the pallet so you can see the way the side shifter palletizer is able to access them without moving the pallet. First thing to do, maneuver the units to the pallet. Now we're going to select the green drum, so what we can do is we'll move across here. It's important when sliding this left or right that we use the handles, so grab hold the handle, undo the lock and then slide it to the position then re-lock it. It's important not to touch this top beam, don't place your hands on it, especially when sliding the lifter. There's warning labels here showing you to keep your hands clear. So we have enough height now to clear the pallet, so we can go straight over. Now if the catch is at the right height, what it happens to be, then it'll just connect automatically. We'll just push it straight forward and it'll connect. But we'll show you the connection in more detail on a close-up later in the video. So I'm happy I can see through this mesh guarding. I can see the catch is connected, so we're ready to lift. We have two buttons to operate the lift function. And there's one here on the right and one on the left. And you have to press both buttons at the same time to power the lift. And this is so there's no risk of an operator having the hands around the front and pressing a button to lift. You have to occupy both hands at the same time to do the lift. So right, let's lift the drum. The drum's now lifted up. Before we move away from the pallet, I can see again through the mesh guard, I can actually see the connection looks good. So we're ready to pull it away from the pallet. Just do this nice and gently. Now the drum's off the pallet, we wouldn't want to transport this in a fully raised position if, if we're going to go any distance. We want to lower it closer to the floor, like you would do with a forklift truck. Now the lower function here is a single button on the lower, so we're just going to press the lower button. When the drum's close to the ground, we can then transport it to the next position. Now we'll lower the drum to the ground, pressing the lower button. Now I can see the drum is on the ground. If I push the unit backwards and forwards, I can see the drum grip again through the mesh. I can see it's loose. So I know there's no risk whatsoever. And we're just reaching forward and disconnecting. Let's maneuver it back to the pallet. Right, important thing to do now is before we go over the pallet, we need to raise it up a little bit, otherwise we'll clash with the pallet. So we'll press again this button, that raises us up, we release the lock and we slide it and again line it up with the middle of the drum, lock it in place. We then push it over the pallet. Now we're slightly to the left of centre, so what we want to do now is release the lock and just do a fine adjustment to be in the middle of the drum. I can see now by looking through the guard that the catch is a bit high, so I need to lower it down a little bit to make the connection. So I I'll, I'll, can see it now, I'll press the lower button, the catch is now connected, we can lift the drum. Again, two hands, press the buttons. 
So drum lifted. Before we move it off the pallet, visually check that it's connected. Wheel it away from the pallet, then lower the drum down to the floor. Just stopped it short of the floor again, which just allows us to manoeuvre the unit. Again, press the lower button. Again, you can see it's loose now, so I know there's no weight on the catch. Drum sitting on the floor. You just reach forward and disconnect. Okay, we're now looking at a close up of the catch and the drum connecting to the drum. And if you set the height in exactly the right place, you just push the depalletizer forward and it'll connect to the drum. And I'll show you this now. So what you can see here, this is connected correctly. The toggle at the bottom, I'll just move this in and out a minute. This toggle is under the lip of the drum and the hook is over the top. So that's now clear to lift. I'll demonstrate that for you. So we're gonna lift now. There we go, nice good connection. We'll lower that one down. The next one, let's disconnect. So if I raise this in a higher position now, so let's pretend we've gone to the drum, we tried to connect. Well here you can obviously see that the toggle, this one, this is the bottom one here that I'm moving, isn't below the lip. And obviously the top hook hasn't hooked to the top of the drum. So all we need to do now is press the lower button, you can see the rack coming down now. The bottom toggle has gone under and we're ready to lift. The next scenario, so let's disconnect again, is that we're too low. So if we lower it down and we try and get to connect, obviously we're too low. So all we need to do is press the lift button, bring it up and a good connection. Now we can lift. It's as simple as that. We're now looking at the rear control panel to the unit. First thing you'll notice here, we'll have a key. We can actually take the key out of the unit. So once the key is removed, you can't operate the unit at all. So first thing you do, put the key in, turn it clockwise, and we notice the power light comes up. That shows that the unit is switched on, it's powered up. We have a battery condition meter here, which is reading how, how much charge is in the batteries. So it's important to keep the unit charged. This is an important function. This is the emergency stop. If we push this forward, all power is ceased. To reset the system, pull out the emergency stop. You can see the power light has come back on. This one here is our toggle clamp, and this actually locks the lifter from sliding left or right. So if we just drop this down, you can see we can move the lifter. We push it up to lock, and it must always be left in the lock position. We don't want the beam sliding around when someone's trying to maneuver the unit. Next feature we see here is the lower button. If we press this button, the drum is lowered. Then on the side here, you can just see that button there. That's one of the lift buttons, and there's exactly the same one on the right-hand side of the unit. So if we press them at the same time, we have lift. We let go, they stop. If we just press one button, we don't have any lift. We've also done these as a reset button, so you're pressing the inside to prevent accidental operation. And that's the same with the lower button. It's a recess button, so you can't lean on it to operate it. You have to actually put your finger in the middle to lower the unit. And the last thing, is the power connection for the charger. So down here, you can just see down here, this is the port for the charging cable that's plugged into the unit.